Well, thank you, Your Excellency. Uh, my name is Jim Moran. Uh, I served in the United States Congress uh, for approximately a quarter of a century. After I left the Congress, uh, I began to uh, represent some corporations and countries and causes that I believe in. Uh, it has been uh, an honor to work with you, Your Excellency. Uh, uh, Elias Garasoulis uh, is my partner. Uh, this is uh, primarily uh, uh, Elias's uh, account. It's now obvious that the main way to get freedom in Nigeria is by separating, you understand? Because the um, Biafran nation is about to stand on December um, 2nd, you understand? And some prominent figure in the United States has gone with Simon Ipa on a live video and they stated a lot of things on how they support in Biafra and how they are happy. You understand that the Biafra nation wants to stand. I'm going to put the video for you guys to watch, but before I put the video, I just want to give you guys some few details and explanation. So if you are coming to my channel for the very first time, I want to encourage you to get the subscribe button and also try to turn on the notification bell icon because what we do in this channel is that whenever we get vital information con concerning politics, we tend to bring them down to you guys so that you guys can watch and share your opinion for yourself. So Samonipa has already declared it that on the December 2nd of this year, 2024, that's when the Biafran is going to gain their independence. And we are still waiting for the reaction of the federal government. The federal government haven't said anything concerning that yet. Even they have even seek for the arrest of Samonipa, but after everything, none of them was successful. And you know, the way Nigerians is softening, you know, has sent that signal to some, some of these agitators that the best way for them to get freedom and access to what they have is by separating from Nigeria. Let them not be in one Nigeria again. So, um, Samanipa have not stated it accurately that he wants the Biafran to follow the way the Finland are doing their own things, the laws and the way Finland carries their own duty. That that's how he wants Biafra to be. So, on this live video, Biafra, um, Samanipa get um was with some two um, prominent figure in the united states where they state a lot of interest they showed a lot of massive support for biafra to stand so i'm going to leave you guys with that particular video to watch so that you guys can see what they actually said you know to um simon Ipa and how they are appreciating simon Ipa for you know putting much effort to see that the biafra nation actually start and you know in nigeria the way they treat the Igbos is, is a kind of a different matter, you understand? The way they treat the Igbos, they do not recognize them as Nigerians. So the Igbos have not seen this as a means that when they separate, that that's when they are going to get their own freedom. You can even see even now that um, the hunger protests and everything is going on, the Igbos did not come out to protest because they won against it. That all those people shouting Jagaban and want to vote for President Bola Metinubo, if any issue should come out for me, that they are not coming out to protest. So after everything, is that's one major reason the Nigerian government has failed to release Mazen and Bikanu because they are not in support of Biafra Nation. They are not in support of Biafra Nation. Even the IPB have observed it and they have even accused the um, Nigerian government for that they are persecuting Nam Bikanu because he refused to drop quest for the um for the Biafra Nation, which is not possible for Nam Bikanu to drop quest. You understand? So Nam even in Nam Bikanu yesterday was supposed to face um some final judgment in court but after everything no footage and no um words were heard from the lawyer they didn't do anything so and this video watch the video of how these two prominent your um, us um us figure we having a good lifetime with um this thing simonica about the way biafra is going to stand and what is their and, and how they share their opinion and how they were happy and how they gave simonica the respect and it shows that Simon Iba, you know, is really putting more effort to see that the Biafra nation actually stands. Same thing as the Yoruba nation, Sunday Ibo is actually putting more effort. But the petition is submitted a few days ago to the UK Prime Minister. Kastama was actually rejected. So we are still waiting for the next move of Sunday Ibo. Let's know what he wants to do after his petition was rejected. So watch this video. And after watching the video, kindly share your opinion in the comment section. Thank you. Well, thank you, Your Excellency. Uh, my name is Jim Moran. Uh, I served in the United States Congress uh, for approximately a quarter of a century. After I left the Congress, uh, I began to uh, represent some corporations and countries and causes that I believe in. Uh, it has been uh, an honor to work with you, Your Excellency. Uh, uh, Elias Garasoulis uh, is my partner. Uh, this is uh, primarily uh, uh, Elias's 
uh, account, but uh, I'm going to be working with him. Um, while I was in the Congress, I uh, was on the committee that funds Defense and State Department Foreign Operations, as well as the Foreign Relations Committee. I have an interest in Africa. I was a principal uh, co-sponsor of the African Growth and Opportunity Act. But most importantly, I do believe that um, uh, Biafran independence uh, is a uh, just and noble cause. Uh, and I trust that you have a bright future ahead. We will try to uh, secure your independence. Uh, we can't promise because the politics is not a particularly uh, predictable situation in the United States today, and justice is not all we serve, but we will work towards that objective. Um, I, uh, I appreciate uh, the opportunity uh, to work on behalf of the Biafran people. And at this point, let me turn it over to Elias. Elias. Oh, thank you, Jim. And it's an uh, honor to be working with you on this. And we appreciate your, your lending, uh, your support, someone of your prestige and stature. Uh, that, that association would be so critical. So thank you, Jim. I, I appreciate it. And thank you, uh, Mr. Prime Minister, uh, your excellencies and dear Biafrans in the United States and around the world. Uh, my name is Elias Yersoulis and I, I uh, am a good friend and a colleague of uh, Congressman Moran, and we are your new lobbyists here in Washington, D.C. Uh, however, you should know that we are more than just your lobbyists. We are fellow freedom fighters in the struggle for the liberation by Africa. And similar to how your compatriots in the Biafran Defense Forces are securing your freedom on the homeland, we will be fighting for your freedom in the political and diplomatic battlefield here in Washington, D.C. And we will make sure that all these U.S. officials, all these congressmen and senators understand that the Biafran independence movement is a pure democratic civilian uprising against injustice. The very same one that we had in the United States when we declared our independence from the British 200 years ago. On a personal level, uh, I knew I had to get involved in the struggle, not only because of my belief in the Biafran cause, but my belief in His Excellency, the Prime Minister Simon Ekba. As I got to know the Prime Minister, I could see that he has remarkable leadership qualities and vision. And I knew that instinctively that he was a man of destiny and that he will have a very important um, impact in Africa uh, in the years to come. And I thought it was a personal duty uh, to assist him. Already, the Prime Minister has made uh, remarkable progress and has outsmarted uh, the Nigerian system in many ways. The Prime Minister has done this with the self-referendum. He has done this with opening uh, diplomatic liaison offices around the world. And I think by establishing a proper Biafran lobby in Washington, D.C., the prime minister has delivered his master stroke. And if you can uh, look at the Nigerian media and the social media, uh, you will see that this is something that's been uh, highly publicized. And I think this is because they understand the moment that the United States starts to gain uh more support for the Biafran cause, it will be uh, a game changer. Because when the United States leads, other countries follow. Congressman Moran and myself are your voice to the U.S. Congress, your voice to the White House, your voice to the State Department, your voice to the highest offices in this great land. And we will not stop until victory is achieved. Long live a free, independent, and sovereign Biafra. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that brilliant speech there. Elias, we are happy to have you on board and uh, we have a lot of things to do together. Thank you. Uh, this particular, uh, you know, appearance today is just to present you to the Bear France in the United States. As I made my promise, I have fulfilled it. It is now that we go out there and do what we know how to do best for the interest Thank of Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. It's our honor. And we look forward to uh, serving you in the cause. Thank you, Mr. Prime Thank Minister. You. Thank you very much. Nice to have Thank you, Mr. Prime Thank Minister. You. It was a pleasure Thank to you. see you again. Thank you. Look Thank forward you. to working with you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Chief Thank you.